Hello, welcome to the video. So, I want to show you my new tool called Screenshot to CSV. Um, so the idea is there are some games that show you some statistics like this, uh, which is you, you like to see them, but now you also want to save them. And now I can just press print screen on my keyboard, Alt tab to the website, Control V to paste it. And oh well, the screenshot looks like uh, this screenshot is white. That's because I've uh, chosen to invert the color. If you remember, the, the game is black. Now I inverted the color, and it, the reason is the text has to be darker than the background. So if uh, the text is brighter, then I have to invert the color. It's actually pretty important. Anyway, uh, now I can draw a rectangle, uh, which I should uh, draw them accurately. So this should cover the text that I want to extract, right? And I cover a lot more space on the bottom because if there are more players in the game, they will appear on the bottom. So if I press apply, it will then try to extract the text. Here are the text. And now it's already generating a table, but it's only one column. Everything is packed in one column. That's because of the regex. So the regex can be used to split uh, I will just show it directly. Um, I know that many people don't know regex. Uh, it's kind of a programming thing. But uh, basically, look at, the, for example, this ST4 line. That's uh, So there are um, how many items are there? Is this the player name? This is score and then BPM, something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then a slash 8. 8 items, right? So Usually, I, I will just use a dot plus for an item, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the last one is a slash eight. So basically, this pattern should match this num this line. Like this space is represented by that space and so on. This slash for that one. Only for slash, you kind of need to add, yeah. For some characters, you have to add a backslash. That's a rule of the regex that you just need to know. Oh, but you can see here that it is matching four of the lines, right? Which is nice. And these lines, uh, those are just the inactive players. That's why they don't have those statistics and they will not be captured. So those rounded brackets are capture groups and each of the capture groups will appear as a one cell in the table. So uh, yeah, so that looks like it works perfectly, right? So this second one is, for example, for the second item there, and it creates this table cell. Now for the table headers, we just make it manually here. So it's comma separated, score, BPM, combo, send, spam block. And the last one is received, because after this slash, it's 30 lines received. That's just this game. Um, yeah, and then the table is finished. So as the title suggests, you can download this as a CSV, um, but I don't want to do that yet, actually, because this is only one screenshot. The cool thing about this is that once you have this settings, now they've been playing, right? So this, this table is updated. Now I can just make a new screenshot, paste it here, and now the same settings will be applied. And now it's showing the second screenshot. And now I guess they finish even another round, so I can take even another screenshot. And this is the third screenshot. Okay, well, this is the same one, actually. I messed up, but whatever. Now, it only shows the last screenshot, but the previous screenshots um, is still there. So if you download this CSV, you will get all the screenshots. As you see, screenshot one, two, and three. So um, this means when I'm playing, Right, I'm playing, I'm playing, playing, the, the round ends. I can quickly take a screenshot, press the screenshot button, Alt-Tab, Control-V to paste here, and then I can Alt-Tab back quickly to the game, and then I hopefully do not miss the next round of the game. If you get used to, with the shortcuts, it's probably going to take you two or three seconds only. So That's the whole point of this web app, so to make it very practical. So uh, once you have these settings, you can also save them. Uh, if you click save, then it will be downloaded as a JSON file. You can rename this, whatever, uh, my settings. Then uh, tomorrow, if you open the website again, you will lose all the screenshots. So hopefully you already downloaded the CSV. 
but you will also lose the configurations but then you can load my settings.json and then it will be there again including this uh, is the the position of the red rectangle um, so um, this website can also work with files so you can just drag and drop files ah this still says volume <laughs> this is actually zoom level <laughs> copy paste code um, okay this is uh, okay actually this is a screenshot that i took uh, took before i even made this website so finally i can use those screenshots but this is a this is the same game but it's a different game mode so there's only like six uh, columns that means i only need six placeholders and if i apply maybe i should also um, fix the headers blocks okay okay i didn't need to refresh that whatever so now i can just uh, upload everything well except the first one because i already uploaded the first one and now it will process them one by one and once it's finished uh, you can download the csv mm. so basically the bigger the rect rectangle is the slower the processing is going to be but um, i made it larger because if more players join the room then they will appear on the bottom so that's why um, and I don't mind my computer doing some work anyway. So uh, my hope is that this tool can work also for some other games. I have tested it for gestures, for example, for another game. Um, as long as uh, the statistics always show up in the same position on the screen, and you can take a screenshot of that, um, then this website should work, really. So this was the result. Um, that was only 22 screenshots. Hopefully I will get like a thousand screenshots at some point and then uh, I can do some statistics. Maybe uh, one thing I want to do is like make a histogram of the combos that people make. Like how big a combo the players usually get. Mm, yeah, there is some kind of stuff like correlation between speed and score or whatever all kinds of stuff that you can do with numbers anyway once you get the data in a csv format you could do kind of a lot of stuff right so that's the point of this tool is uh, to combine the ocr so i use tesseract js to extract a text from the image from the screenshot and combine it with the regex regular expression because if you if you study the regex uh, they're actually pretty powerful so even if the lines are multi lines uh, even if the data contains multiple lines that has to be combined into one line here that's certainly doable I've done I have done for example for gestures uh, and that is the regex I mean that looks pretty complicated but I just did it this stupid way, which is using this slash s. That's why it looks uh, kind of long, but maybe I can show that as well. Uh, just trace. Um, now, for just trace, for example, the stats is on the bottom here, right? So if I make a screenshot, well, maybe I should uh, start over there because it, it has already the culture screenshots in it. So I paste the screenshot. Again, this is inverted because uh, the text has to be, oh no, text has to be darker than the background. Um, and yeah, it looks like it works except for the attack. Uh, actually here, the attack is zero. Maybe here you can see it bigger. Attack is zero, but it couldn't tell if it is a zero or a letter O. Or yeah, it decided that it is a letter O. So maybe I will have to manually fix that using Excel or LibreOffice. But yeah, that shouldn't be too hard to do. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching.